Alright guys, the ugly truth behind saying who asked. Let's check it out. While arguing, you've definitely heard this dreadful phrase again and again. Who asked? I didn't ask. Nobody asked. When you hear... Guys, I know who asked does have a power. It does have a power, guys. You know what I mean? Like, you know, it's pointing out. <laughs> pointing out, you know, the obvious, but like... Nobody asked for this guy to say who who asked, you know what I mean? Like, it's just a pointless saying, in my opinion. And I don't think... I don't think it's, like, particularly nice, right, guys? Hear it. You can already tell that there's just something wrong about this phrase. You try to come back at it, but it just doesn't work. No, right, like, it's just, a, it's a, just a rude thing, bro, rude thing to say. Literally everyone who's spectating the argument, including your opponent, is laughing. He's now a, yeah, like, he's now an opponent, it seems, guys, like, but, seriously. I, I don't say it, bro, it's just, it's just like a rude thing, bro, not gonna lie. And mocking you at the highest degree over such a dumb phrase. It's like, it makes him an opponent, bro, it's, it's like he wants to become an opponent, rather. And it's, uh, you know, I, I think it's very rude, man. Not not a cool thing. Once this phrase comes along, you are basically out of options. You're thinking to yourself, Man, why does this comeback exist? It's so bad. Why isn't it overrated? Well, because it is. The main reason why it's garbage is because the phrase literally contradicts itself. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you. It's kind of funny when it's used. I have no problem with it being a simple phrase. Oh my gosh, that's kind of funny. <laughs> what if you're like a college professor and somebody says that, guys? Like, what would you say? Let me know in the comments below. The problem is that it's so popular that it seeps into real conversations and real quarrels. And un yeah, in Discord, when, when I was active in Discord, there would be like zero ask. I'd be like, oh my gosh, dude. Yeah, bro, I was just trying to, you know? It's trying to be friendly. It's trying to share stuff. Share my opinion. Fortunately, that is forever what the phrase means. As a real use phrase, it sucks. If you really think about it, the phrase makes no fundamental sense at all. Like, you say who asked, but nobody asked for you to say who asked. Does that not seem infinitely paradoxical? This still didn't deter self-centered. No, right? No, right? Like, come on now. 14 year olds from pasting this overpasted, bad tasted, nonsense adjacent phrase anytime they find themselves in an argument. Unironically, this phrase has been a leech on competent thinking and internet civilization, which leads to the second reason why it's garbage. When the phrase is used in real arguments, it slaps a massive zipper on the victim's mouth that stops any ideas or any points from. Guys, there are phrases that have the power like that, and I think this one is pretty much. A textbook example of that I'm getting across which is like dang bro is he telling me to be quiet like <laughs> terrible a real argument is meant to solve problems mishaps and misunderstandings because like if i if i respond to it, it feels like i lose bro you know what i mean it's just like but sometimes people actually use this phrase to literally cover up their insecurities when they are being proven wrong or when someone is giving a really good point that feels embarrassing to oppose. The worst part is that with how the internet is like right now, it actually works, making the whole argument bogus. By saying who asked, you completely remove the other side's ability to speak and get their point across, which is actually a bad thing. You are literally... Ban the word of who asked, but bro, ban the ban the phase. In my opinion, shutting yourself away from potentially useful information that could help you and possibly even everyone during a real proper argument. The best case scenario is that the people arguing learn from their mistakes and learn from each other, and the spectators could take notes from their actions so that they don't do the same. However, the best case scenario for arguments played with the phrase. Is that no one? Hey, bro, he's going into like a philosophical like analysis of this, bro. I don't think it's that complicated, guys. But let's let's hear more of his points. You know what I mean? Learns anything, and everyone just becomes even worse off than usual. 
It actually, it actually, we do, we do need a video essay on this. Sometimes to the point of actual harm to everyone. And should I even mention how it negatively impacts the victim? Can you imagine just trying to share something with others and then suddenly everything you shared becomes meaningless because it, it literally, you know, kind of demotivates motivates me from uh, continuing to to do what I do, bro. Like it really does. Someone used a borderline nonsensical phrase against you. Depending on the person, it would either be relatively annoying, or it would be a massive embarrassment that could drag their m It's the second one for me, guys. ...motion down for literal weeks. Come on, if all- Okay, not for literal weeks, but- ...sides actually took a step back, set aside their teenagey, grumpy, insecurity field emotions, and listened to others, then not only would the argument have a real world value, but it would actually benefit everyone within it because in one way or another, everyone involved learned something. In large enough movements, stopping this kind of cowardly behavior could actually improve the world. It could speed up major debates, and it would- Hey bro, it's like he drew all this in MS Paint, bro, and that is pretty awesome. It would just make everyone happier. Now I know. He made a- he, Guys. He made a- he, he's got- he made a video essay that has like 2 million views. Well, uh, with the, you know, with MS Paint it seems. Some of you already- Like some drawing program on it, like a 2-in-1 laptop, I don't know guys, but- Fully understand and support what I'm saying, which is great, but- there are still some others who are crossing their arms, claiming I'm giving too little detail on this silly little video. Well, first of all, what other questions about this that I haven't answered yet? What if nobody did ask? If you're asking it in literal terms, it doesn't matter. Many things that happen aren't asked for. Simply because nobody asked for something doesn't mean that the thing is always 100% not positive. There are a lot of unasked things that are positive, like gifts and surprises. <laughs> but it really depends on what the person said. If they started boasting or speaking about fact of the matter is that this is true. Something that people genuinely don't care about, that leads us to What if nobody cares about something that someone is saying? Simply tell them politely, "Hey, no one is actually interested in what you are saying." Bro, that's kind of rude. I mean, there, there's a point where you gotta say if they're, like, com extremely, extremely oversharing or, like, extremely, extremely, like, you know, dominating the conversation, but I don't know. It's still a kind of rude thing, bro. I don't really say it. Obviously, this is easier said than done due to how rude and cold some people are, and saying this might round up to another fight. But this would still be so much better than using the half-baked phrase. After seeing all of the problems mentioned earlier, this really paints a picture of how the phrase can actually be toxic to our society. This brings us to the final part of the video, how you can help. First and foremost, obviously try your best to stop using this phrase. From your perspective, you might feel like the king of the internet from the reactions that people give you, but through real human eyes... Dang, if it was in public like that, I'd be even more anxious and sad, bro. You literally just look like an insecure bonehead. You might not be able to stop yourself from saying it right away, but you can slowly improve and decrease the usage more and more. Trust me, this will improve your social life immensely. Secondly, this video isn't just targeted at you, but it's targeted at other people as well. We've seen how the world, <laughs> Guys. world needs to stop this, so if you found this somewhat meaningful, make sure to click, click, like, like, and comment on this video so that more people can see this. You can also show this video directly to others using the share button underneath the video display. And lastly, oh, and don't forget this part. As he subscribed to a random channel to like film that, guys. Because <laughs> this channel's not verified, but everybody go check him out in the description if. You know what? Because this phrase is so dumb, it's honestly not even fun. <laughs> So, what to take out of this video? Socialization and unity are extremely important for our survival, and creating barriers between ourselves due to emotions, egos, and pride is the last thing civilization needs. Worse if it involves using a half-baked phrase that almost doesn't even make sense. Try your best to stop using this dumb phrase and try to share this video to other people for the betterment of the world. Thank you for watching.
Guys, we gotta see some comments about this. He goes into some good details, but you know how half the videos are ha half of the co like uh, half half the video's popularity is due to the comments as well. Imagine finding cut for court in your child or in court for your child. And they say who asked? No one has to ask. It's a conversation works every time. Oh, that's true. That's true, bro. Just say that, guys. <laughs> When someone literally asked me a question, I gave them an answer they didn't want to say. They did it, and they said, who asked? That's rude. Dogs don't ask, they listen. Well, dogs can only bark. Let's be honest, the best comeback we can think of is definitely, when somebody says that, is your mom. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, that's a legit use of it, I guess. The victim of who asked when they tried socializing. I'm not sure why I was unable to, to develop proper social skills as a kid. Ouch, bro. Yeah, it, kind of, it, it does hurt. Makes me not want to, like, go out and socialize no more, you know? Alright, guys, that's a video. Check out. Check out Norific, Norific in the description, guys. He has like three videos, but you know they were well. They're all well to well put together, um, like video essays. So check them out in the description. I'll see you guys next one later, guys. Oh, I do all my reactions live on Twitch. So like, comment, subscribe, donate if you uh, want to help the cause, and I'll see you guys next one.